الاسلام سرايا المرابطين استهداف قاعد تمشي Kindness is the word that inspired Emmy Award-winning filmmakers Kahani Cooperman and John Hoffman to make The Antidote. The documentary focuses on how American communities across the country are coming together in times of need. My name is O'Connell. I'm Dr. O'Connell. What do you need? Anything? I need mental health. Dr. James O'Connell, founder of Boston Healthcare for the Homeless, goes out in the streets to treat homeless people. I'm Russell. I work here at the college. Tell me your name again. In Amarillo, Texas, Russell Laurie Hart, president of Amarillo College, helps underprivileged students manage their personal lives, thrive academically, and escape generational poverty. At Peter Johansson High School in Modesto, California, Sherry McIntyre teaches a class about religious tolerance and the diversity of faith in America. We need to protect the rights of the smallest minority because in doing that, we're protecting our own rights. We can't get too comfortable. We have to stand up for each other. The stories go on and on. We came up with six questions that completely informed our creative process, which are how do we raise our children? How do we teach our children? How do we take care of the sick and the dying? How do we live and work together? How do we welcome the stranger? And how do we lead? Hoffman says the film was made as a counterpoint to the growing political and social divisions in America. Those stories are all examples of working to, to right these systemic wrongs uh, that we call fundamental unkindnesses. It's you know fundamentally unkind to not have a safe place to sleep, fundamentally unkind to not have access to health care. Racism is fundamentally unkind. Homophobia is homophobia. Is fundamentally unkind, sexism is fundamentally unkind. Cooperman says that although the film was made just before the country was ensnarled in the grip of the pandemic, it is relevant today. More relevant perhaps than when we even started. Um, certainly with COVID, it was about communities coming together. Such as how communities in Anchorage, Alaska are welcoming African refugees or how elderly communities in Portland, Oregon are caring for children in foster care. The filmmakers hope the documentary inspires people to reach out to one another and to feed the force of good rather than fan the flames of hatred and divisiveness. Penelope Pulu, VOA News, Washington.